Your pharmacy chains are running short on kids over-the-counter medicines. You've got cold season, flu season, RSV season, all hitting hard and all at the same time. And demand has significantly outpaced supply. Our Lisa Adams looked into this today, especially the effect locally. Lisa, I know you've talked with pharmacies and pediatricians about ways to try to dial down a fever if those store shelves are more bare than you'd like. Good evening again. Even yes, yeah, supplies at the very least are erratic for things like children's Tylenol or ibuprofen, meds that reduce pain and fevers. And as with the rest of the country, influenza A is what's hitting local children here right now. It does make kids spike a fever, but as your grandma might tell you, there are other ways to bring a fever down. A shortage of over-the-counter medications for little ones, children's Tylenol or ibuprofen, has big chains like CVS restricting parents to a two-product limit in stores or online, and Walgreens with a six-product online order limit. Smaller independent pharmacies like Darling's in the former Wayne School are faring better. We've been able to keep stuff on our shelves, but I know that with the bigger chains, since they only get medication shipped to them, they don't have as much control to order different things that they're having more issues, but right now we've been able to keep them on the shelves for patients. AHN pediatrician Dr. Susan Moore says right now enemy number one for kids is influenza A and fever is a factor. They're usually very tired and have high fevers, meaning, you know, it could be 102, 103 for a few days and a bad cold and body aches, headaches, sore throat. Dr. Moore says parents should remember the fever is our bodies turning up the heat to fight back. But if your child is uncomfortable, there are old school strategies to help. If we see our kids having a fever and we don't have Tylenol or ibuprofen, then uh, we can put them in a lukewarm bath. That's a time-honored tradition. Not too cold, not too warm. We don't want them shivering. And uh, also, even if they're just on the couch, you can take a washcloth or a hand towel and uh, soak it in some lukewarm water and put it on the forehead or the chest to help bring out the fever and help bring it down and lots of liquids. Pediatricians are more worried about how a child looks and acts than how high the fever goes, but Dr. Moore say says if it gets up to 104 and a child is lethargic, it's time to see the doctor. I asked about Vicks Vapo rub, rub too, by the way, a favorite of mine. Uh, Dr. Moore said that really just kind of opens your uh, sinus passages a little bit, but not much more than that, except it smells like your childhood. Manufacturers, though, likely produce what they did for this year in terms of kids' meds based on historic demand, and this year it just wasn't enough for the surge we're seeing. Now drug makers are working hard to catch up. If your child does have a fever and becomes lethargic or won't eat and drink, you should get them to a doctor. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.